Hello, everybody. This is Pastor Phil with Full of Life Ministries. Today's message is entitled, Be Careful of the Voices You Listen To. Now in the book of Proverbs chapter 3, verse 6 tells us, it says, listen for God's voice in everything you do, everywhere you go. He's the one who will keep you on track. People of God, there's a sound that evokes a response. It's the decision to choose to maintain your course, knowing you're going to become successful because of his promise and the assurance from the Lord that he will keep you on track. Listening to his voice is an inner receptive component that resides deep within our hearts to give our lives direction, clarity, and the confidence to believe that he's going to work on our behalf. But listening to the voice of justification can at times be used improperly and will steer you in the wrong direction towards exponential growth. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 6 says, let no one deceive you with empty words, for because of such things, God's wrath comes on those who are disobedient. Now, verses 7 through 9 in that same chapter, Ephesians chapter 5, goes on to say, it says, don't participate in the things these people do. For though your hearts were once full of darkness, now you are full of light from the Lord and your behavior should show it. For this light within you produces only what is good and right and true. You see, in this world that we live in, we are surrounded, bombarded with people whose influence can have grave consequences. And what the Apostle Paul is saying is not forbidding us from all contact with unbelievers or people who have a propensity to act in a manner that is reckless or selfish or just plain out of control. You have to understand that Jesus taught his followers and us to always befriend individuals that don't line up with God's moral standards. You see, it's our responsibility to do our very best to lead them to Christ. Because people make excuses for their lifestyle and bad behavior all the time. We know many of these individuals, but it's our responsibility to be wary of those who are viciously evil immoral or more likely to influence us for evil then we are likely to influence them for good you see these verses state our hearts were once full of darkness at one point in our lives we made the decision to listen to our reasoning rather than listening to the voice of faith but it also says you are now, not past tense, but present tense. You are now full of light from the Lord and your behavior should show it. When you listen to the voice of God, everything changes. It changes how you think. It changes how you believe. It redirects you toward your destiny. It helps you to rediscover your purpose. It tears down the wall of fear. It fills you with a joy that is unspeakable. Listening to the voice of God gives you the confidence that you can do all things through Christ, who gives you the strength, the ability to make it in this world. You see, people of God, listening is a greater gift from the Lord than talking could ever provide. 
and when you listen to his voice your behavior will change for this light within you produces only what is good what is right and what is true we will live above reproach morally and we will reflect God's goodness to others. Jesus shared this message in a sermon on a mountaintop. His message rings true today. God's reflection through our lifestyle and our behaviors will demonstrate to the world and to all of our enemies that we made a conscious decision to reject the voice of darkness but we decided to listen to the voice of God. Matthew, the fifth chapter, verses 15 and 16 says, don't hide your light under a basket. Instead, put it on a lampstand and let it shine for all. In the same way, let your deeds shine out for all to see so that everyone will praise your heavenly father. Listening to the wrong voice happens when we are quiet, when we should speak, when we go along with the crowd, when we fall to the influence of people who are not vested in your best interest, or when we deny his light or his voice when clearly he's given you sound advice to help you overcome a certain situation or circumstance that is affecting your peace or maybe you've allowed sin to dim your light because you chose comfort over sacrifice or maybe you ignored the deeds of others you ignored the needs of others because of the effort and time that it would require to get the job done. I mean, whatever the case, people of God, listening to his voice is always going to work out for your good. Romans 8.28 tells us that we know that God will work everything out for our good according to his purpose. So I'm here to let you know, just give it time. Give it some time because you will be a blessing to so many people, whether you know them or not, because you decided to listen to the voice of the Lord. Don't shut out your light from the rest of the world because they need that light that resides deep inside of you. And last reminder, consistent prayer life and the application of God's words is the key in operating in his purpose. First Thessalonians says, the fifth chapter of the 17th verse says, it says, pray without ceasing. <laughs> Never stop praying. And then Psalms 119, 105 says, his lamp is a lamp that gives light wherever I walk. So today or tonight, I'm here to remind you, a gentle reminder, a hopeful reminder of the simple yet meaningful message of hope. And that is to be careful, to be aware, to have your spider senses aware of the voices you listen to. Because it all started in the Garden of Eden with Adam and Eve. There were two messages given to them. One voice says, you can enjoy everything in this beautiful garden I provided for you, but don't touch this one tree. The second voice suggested just to ignore what you heard, make your own decisions, and take the plunge <laughs> and guess what they did but people of God they messed up thank God for his mercy thank God for his forgiving power 
but the story should be a valuable lesson a lesson going forward because when you listen to God's voice good things will happen for you if you hear his voice today don't be stubborn like those who rebelled just stay connected to the right source and keep your spiritual Wi-Fi connected to a router that will never, ever lose its power. Today, I want you to be encouraged and I want you to continue to keep shining. And people of God, thank you guys once again for tuning in to Full of Life Ministries of San Diego. God bless you. Email us at Full of Life sd at gmail.com for whatever needs that you may have whatever words of encouragement that you may need or any questions that we can help you pertaining to your walk with christ and if you'd like to contribute to this ministry we have a cash app it's the dollar sign full of life last two letters sd i'm gonna say that one more time dollar sign Full of Life, last two letters are capitalized, S-D. You can fo follow us on Instagram. You can follow us on Twitter. You can follow, follow us on YouTube. We are here to serve the people of God. So let's continue to do this in Jesus' name. God bless you guys. Talk to you real soon. Have a wonderful day and a wonderful week. God bless.